Hello everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a Teams Room resource account. This is quite easy, so let's get started. Keep in mind that you can find all of this information on my blog. Okay, so we can create this resource account by using PowerShell, Microsoft 365, or Active Directory. Okay, in today's video, I will be using PowerShell and Microsoft 365. We must go to admin.microsoft.com and we must click on resources and rooms and equipment so now select add resource what resource type are you looking for for instance if there is a projector in the room ah, okay let's well, gonna choose equipment but in this case we're talking about microsoft teams rooms which are conference rooms right so let's gonna choose room and now fill out the blanks Last but not least, phone number. It's optional and it doesn't assign a phone number but adds an entry into Azure Active Directory. So let's gonna click on save. Hold on a second. Now you can add another resource or edit booking options. As you can see here, there are three different options that are enabled by default. You can ch change something if you need, but in this case, let's gonna click on close. Your new room is here, but we must assign a Teams room license and create a password. So let's click on users and here click on active users. Look for your room and let's gonna click on licenses and apps, assign a Teams rooms pro license and click on save changes. Now we must reset the password. You can create a password or just check this box and Microsoft will create one for you. Then click on reset password. There are some additional parameters to be set. So let's run PowerShell to enable these features. Run PowerShell as admin and let's copy and paste this command. We're gonna connect to Exchange Online. Choose your account and type in your password. Now copy and paste this command and of course, use your own resource instead of this your teams room at whatever.com and just copy and then paste the command. But what am I doing here? First, I'm using my own resource account instead of this one. I'm setting up this resource account to automatically accept an invite and reject an invite if it conflicts with another one. Reserve the original subject, the private flag for incoming mirroring requests, any text in the message body, the subject value, and of course, process all meeting invitations. Okay, now let's run this command. Wait a couple of seconds. There it is. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on social media. Thanks.